to talk about how Hollywood has made life incredibly difficult for dogs. Now, I'm not talking about the fact that, you know, certain movies popularize different breeds that maybe aren't the best pets for everyone. That's not great either. What I'm talking about is the personification that they give these dogs. They imply dogs in movies have human characteristics, like Benji, who solved, a, you know, a, a kidnapping. How many times did Lassie run and tell mom and dad that Timmy fell down the well. What's wrong with Timmy that he keeps falling down wells? And quite honestly, the truth about dogs is if Timmy fell down that well, he's very likely going to stay there if it's going to be dependent upon the family dog to go and tell somebody. No, there are anomalies. There are definitely truth stories of heroic events that dogs have done. I'm not going to take that away, but that's not the norm. Hollywood has set up this expectation that dogs understand English, that they understand full sentences, that they understand past tense and present tense and have a college degree and can solve kidnappings. And they've set this magical relationship. As soon as a dog comes from the pound, there's this magical relationship that the dog knows what we want and how to live the right life and do the right thing all the time. Sometimes that happens. It's rare. It's rare. I don't even want to present, pretend to a, you know, think of a, a percentage that a dog would come home from a rescue and magically do everything. It's an implied relationship that we just get each other. Kind of like, you know, rom-coms. I'm a big fan of rom-coms, by the way. But truthfully, I don't expect to lock eyes with somebody across a deli and instantly know he's the one or, you know, get in a big fight with somebody that I bump into and then magically fall in love with him two scenes later or think that anyone's going to be running through an airport after me to stay. Like these are movies that create this warped expectation of relationships because the truth is relationships are work that they develop when good choices are made that your partner likes. And that's the truth about dogs. That dogs do what's reinforcing. I mean, most of us do what's reinforcing. And those magical relationships with a dog absolutely can have happen. I've, ha- I've been blessed with, with them now nine times, or maybe I'm up to 10. Every one of the dogs I've ever owned, I've shared that magical relationship with. People define their heart dogs, their once in a lifetime dogs. I've been blessed to have had that 10 times because I don't leave it to chance. You need to create an environment of success for your dog. You know, so how it works is, You know what your dog wants. You can predict what he's going to want at any time during your training or when he's at home or or when he's away at a park, when there's other distractions. And you create an environment of success. Know what he loves, predict what he wants, create an environment of success. But my point is dogs aren't little human beings. They are animals that we can have phenomenal relationships with, relationships that bring you joy every day, relationships where your dog 100% understands what's expected of them. And they want to do that every time. Somebody wrote a review about my second book I wrote. It's called Shaping Success. And what she wrote has stuck with me because it was like, wow, she gets it. And she said, I envy the clarity to which Susan's dogs live their lives. And that is my wish for every dog on this planet. To have the ability to live their lives with such clarity that they want to do what we want them to do. And they're not feeling intimidated to have to do something. 
or they're not worried. They live a life where every day they get more and more confidence that they're doing the right thing. And that confidence comes through the reinforcement. And that is what develops that amazing, a better relationship than you see in Hollywood. It is possible. It all develops by starting with a common ground and putting in the effort. Make their expectations of yourself far greater than your expectations of your dog. Make your expectations of how you're going to create a a successful environment, of how you're going to deep dive into choice-based, game-based, reinforcement-based dog training so that you can be the leader in creating this phenomenal relationship. And I promise you, it will spill over into the rest of your life. (music) 